Welcome back to the second installment of Frequently Asked Questions of A&R Extension Educators. Hopefully you all did some research in the last video to learn more about the insects mentioned. If you did, you should have realized that the photo of the brown marmorated stink bug in the NIF stage was not the brown marmorated stink bug, but a harlequin bug. If you compare the two photos, then you would see very, very subtle differences between the two. Here is the catch. The harlequin bug could be called a stink bug in other parts of the country. How is this possible? Both the harlequin bug and brown marmorated stink bug are in the same taxonomic family, Pentomedia. This means that they share some characteristics like being true bugs, having wings, and their shape is similar, almost like a shield. Because multiple insects, animals, or plants could share the same common name, the scientific community still uses Latin names so that things aren't misidentified. Now on to some other questions that don't need a scientific name. Oftentimes, people will call in about a plant cracking. This could be a tree, shrub, or a vegetable. In order to best answer the question, some photos are needed. In this photo, you can see there is a large crack in the tree and it is starting to rot. Unfortunately, I can't stop the limb from rotting, but I can try to help the owner understand why it cracked. The first thing I'm going to do is look for signs of lightning strikes. If that isn't the cause, then I'm going to look for damage caused by a lawnmower or from improper pruning. Lawnmower injuries would be low on the trunk because they happen when someone is trying to mow grass close to the tree base. Improper pruning injury happens when someone goes to remove a heavy limb uh, and it, they cut it from the top instead of starting from the bottom and scoring the bottom. When that limb falls, then it rips the bark because it was cut from the top and not a score on the bottom. If that's not the problem, the other item I am assessing for is which side of the tree is the crack on and does the tree have thin bark? It isn't uncommon for thin bark trees to start cracking, especially if there are some shallow cracks on the trunk. The, these cracks do get larger if they're on the south side of the tree because when we get our rain and snow, um, the freeze and the thaw with the sun on the bark causes those cracks to get bigger. Again, this is more common with a thin barked tree. On this tree, it appears to be that a limb was there at some point and came off the tree and it never heals completely. You can see where the bark started to heal, but the wound was so large that it couldn't heal over completely. In these situations, most owners want a timeline of how long the tree will live in that state. And there is honestly no way to know. It's We don't know how deep the rot is inside the trunk, um, how far down it goes. There's a lot of unknown. So when a tree looks like this, you have to look at the big picture. You know, is it close to a house or somewhere where it's going to cause more damage? Um, or is it out in a wood line where if it were to fall... Um, because of the rot and not being stable, does it create a problem or not? So a lot of those uh, decisions have to be left up to the homeowner. But we can try to end on a little bit of a positive note today. You know, if you have a tomato fruit that's cracking, um, I can't cure it completely, but it does have a better outcome usually than a tree does. So, uh, if you call me and ask me how to fix this, I will have to ask you to tell me more about the crack on the tomato fruit. Is it a circular crack or a vertical crack? Or is the cracking on it, um, does it not fit into either of those two categories? If the cracking isn't circular or vertical, then we call it cat facing. This happens when we have cold weather during blossoming and it affects the cold weather affects the blossoms. The circular or vertical cracks are caused by infrequent soil moisture. For example, if we have a drought and I don't water my tomato plants during the drought, and then we get several inches of rain over a three day period, the tomatoes will crack because the soil moisture went from very dry to really wet. So to avoid this, it's important to water tomatoes during periods of drought. If tomatoes do crack and it is caught early, the tomatoes can be harvested and used. 
You know, if you don't get out there in time and they start to rot, obviously you can't use it. But if you catch the crack early, you can bring them inside and at least salvage um, the tomato, whereas the tree isn't maybe as salvageable as you would like. But so cracking, it isn't all, I mean, it's not great, but some plants it has a better outcome than others. So make sure to catch next month's video about some of the more unique questions that I have received during my time as an ANR educator.